Hey guys, it's Georgia, and in this video, we're gonna draw some storyboards. So grab some pencils, pens, paper, whatever you wanna use, and let's get started. This is gonna be my first time storyboarding for an entire project, so I'm gonna be learning and trying to figure this whole thing out with you guys. So I don't feel like there are any strict rules for how to go about storyboarding. I guess as long as it makes sense to you, if you're the director, and you should at least have your script written, which we have right here. So before we get started, I wanna actually try something that Robert Rodriguez talked about in his 10 minute film school. How do you visualize a movie? On storyboards, you can do that. You can pre-visualize your movie and draw them out. What you should really do though, is just make a blank screen for yourself and sit there and watch your movie. Close your eyes and stare at this Imagine a screen, imagine your movie, shot for shot, cut for cut. So take a minute, pause this video even, and just watch your film in your head and try to see it as clearly as you can. Okay, if you've done that, let's actually start drawing now. So I've already started with some quick thumbnail sketches, and these could even be enough to be my actual storyboards, but let's clean them up a little bit. Um, so I'd say start loose and rough just to get an idea of the whole picture and make sure it fits in the frame Again, and don't be afraid to um, Make notes on your storyboard again. These are just for you as the director So do whatever you have to do to get make sure your vision is clear enough Don't be afraid to look up images and clip art on Google to um, reference so you can, or just copy them to get an idea of what you're trying to draw. Yeah, screw it, she just has Dragon Ball Z hair. That makes my life easier. While that's finishing up, I actually wanna show you guys this, which is a paper pad that my friend Daniel gave me. Uh, the cool thing about this is that it's in the 16-9 aspect ratio that your video is most likely gonna be in. Um, another great thing is that you can separate the pages and you can rearrange them individually. This is something they also do at Pixar when they're trying to figure out the flow of the stories for their films. Woody's up there with the toys and Rex is getting worried. What's taking them so long? And Woody says, come on, these guys are professionals. They're the best. <laughs> they're not lying down on the job. And then we cut down to them all lying down. On, you know, they're all lying around. <laughs> uh, Sarge looks up and he gets to his feet and signals. Um, there is a link in the description to this cool video I saw where they used uh, storyboards from Star Wars The Force Awakens to kind of explain why storyboards are important. So definitely go check that out to um, get a more professional insight on what, what storyboards could look like and um, why, they're, why they're important. So many here that I need to go over in with, oh, that one's drawn. Uh, but I've got several more that I need to ink over and color. And there you go. So this is one way you can storyboard for your projects. Uh, all related links are gonna be in the description. If you're working on a project or that you're gonna be doing some storyboarding for, tell me about it in the comments. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, hopefully, if nothing else, you guys after watching this video will feel better. Uh, about your own art skills because mine are just sad to say the least um, Okay, so let's do her arm here